and welcome to episode 27 of the NK Maribor Save. I finally nailed down what episode is which number. And we are here for the crucial game against Fiorentina in Champions League Group B. We need a draw. A draw puts us through. If we look quickly look at the results that we've had, um, we drew 0-0 with Triglav, which there's such tricky components. I can never seem to break them down no matter what I do. Got a 0-0 draw there, not too bad. We then beat our biggest rivals, Olympia, 3-0. Um, Zahovic, Sintasau and Barman getting the goals Gorisa we beat 1-0 with Zahovic getting another goal and here we are today Fiorentina lose and it's pretty much our season over because we've pretty much already won the league draw or win and we're in the Europa League and we can see how far we can get in that and get our coefficients up again because that's what we need to do other news, not much really Centre-backs are back, Klemcic is back, severely lacking match fitness, but he's sort of fit overall. And Takax is back as well. Both of them have been told 60 minutes maximum. On the bench, we've got Kavcic, who's also back, lacking match fitness, but he's back healthy. He's also been told to limit to 60 minutes, so one of them is going to be playing a lot longer than they should, that have been recommended by the physio. And Sven Kadic is injured with a calf strain. So I've got some centre-backs back and lost another one, but... What can you do? Generally, everything's going well, so we'll crack into the game, and I'll see you there. See you in a bit. Okay, right, so this is how we line up. We start in our 4-1-3-2 counter-attacking formation. Kasper Schmeichel's in goal. Pausic, Klemcic, Takax, and Janza are the back four. Vahovec sits in front of them. Williams, Barman, and Dak are the midfield three. Zahovic and Zancela are up front. They line up in a 4-4-2, which we know we can be successful against. They're playing Dragowski in goal, who I've never heard of, and he looks very good, and he's only 22. Dilk, Semendo, Astori, and Muro at the back. Haji, Valero, Vecino, Guadado, Kalicic, and Luke de Jong. That's their substitution, not going to go through them all. Our bench, Lopez, Bade, Sintasau, Bakic, Trajovski, Kavcic, and Jezikovic. Our sub goalkeeper. Let's get into the game. We are huge underdogs for this game as we get it underway. Fiorentina should win, really. They really should win. They're at home. They're a bigger team. Arguably got better players. But, you know, we're a tight-knit bunch and we can we can do something here. We've just got to hold out for as long as we can. I mean, we're playing a counter-attacking formation. So we should be able to exploit some space. They've got to win. So they're definitely going to come at us. The whole point of being counter-attacking today is hopefully they'll chuck a few men forward and we can capitalise on that. And here comes Zahovic, but he's tackled. But Dak picks it up, and he's gone from range. And they've taken it short out of the back. And guardado has got a bit of space. He puts it up to De Jong. Valero, who's going to dictate their play. There's a huge overlap for them with Dilks, and they've worked it very well. And the cross comes in, and Luke De Jong's headed over from within a yard. And that's showing how dangerous Fiorentina can be in this game. But here comes Pausic into Williams from Barman. Back to Pausic, Williams, Barman. We're passing it around well. Janza, can he put a cross in? He tries, but it's blocked, and Hadji brings it away, and Kalinic is breaking with it. He's found Valero. Hadji back to Kalinic. Ball in. Luke Dion, great block there from Klemcic. God, it's good to have him back. Rodardo with the corner. It's long, and it's gone all the way to the back post, but muru has got it on the edge. It's relentless from Fiorentina at the moment. Dax, a story, great save from Schmeichel. It's back in, it's pinball, and there's another corner. Valero, headed clear by somebody. Hadji on the edge of the box. A story's picked it up. Semedo, Valero, Hadji. It's, this formation doesn't appear to be working. We're just sitting too deep. Still, the highlight continues, and I don't get a rest. But this is where we need to show what we can do with the ball. So Zahovic has it. He's got Pausic on the overlap. He uses him. What can he do? Back into Zahovic. Barman's there. Again, shoots straight at. Dragovsky. Williams, here we go. It's still a non stop game. This Barman's on the edge. Dak has a shot. It's blocked. Barman, Williams, Pausic with a great ball there. Zahovic. Oh, and he's put it wide. And we've got, by the way, a lot of interest in our players. So Klemcic has got interest. Zancel has got interest. And Luke Dion fires wide. Zancel is interested from Everton. Um, Zahovic is Fenerbahce and Freiburg in Germany. Yeah, it's going to be tough to hold on to our players. Five minutes to go till half-time, and it's been pretty even. We have dominated the stats a little bit, but eventually they're going to have to come out and attack us, and it wouldn't surprise me in the second half if we see them change formation. The highlights are mainly going to us, just as I say that. I'm pretty sure Fiorentina will now come and score. And here's Guidardo on the left wing. 
ball in Kalinic it's a poor header and it's gone wide Williams loses out and now it's a two on three should be able to defend this oh my word and it's in at the back post it's really poor defending and uh, I think well I would imagine Kalinic was shooting so Kalinic here is on the edge of the box and, uh, I think that's a shot but Luke de Jong's on it and at the back post and that is not what we needed at all on the stroke of half time Fiorentina have gone 1-0 up and we need a goal and we've been dominating this game pretty much been dominating it and Dax there and he's fired over as we get into half time we're 1-0 down and it is not very good at the moment and I'm going to mix it up I'm going back to our usual formation which means there's going to be some sacrifices Zancela is off for Bade Sintasau is going to come on for Barman on that right hand side leaving Williams and Dak in the middle defence is going to stay as it is two subs at half time I hope they realise that I am not happy get out there get us a goal that's all we need one goal so you can argue that I've made a bit of a mistake by making two subs at once but we need to get on the end of it they've stuck with their 4-4-2 unsurprising now they've got the lead but we need this come on boys we need to stay in Europe Think of the country. Oh, it's a great ball. Luke de Jong's through and he's made it 2-0. Kasper Schmeichel was helpless. It's a swift counter-attack from Fiorentina. Guardado with a lovely little ball over. De Jong, great first touch, brings it down. Schmeichel comes out. He's, he's unlucky, the goalkeeper. Nearly gets a hand to it. But this is going to see us crash out of Europe unless we can do something significant. But Kalinic is through. Oh, he's put it wide. Delge into Vecino, De Jong, good tackle there, Zahovic, right, can we counter-attack, Sintasau, he's into the area, he puts a cross in, Zahovic is there and we've got a goal back, 30th goal of the season for Luka Zahovic, Sintasau with great work on the right hand side, as he gets down towards the byline, whips in that cross and Zahovic is there on the volley, nothing that goalkeeper could do, 2-1, come on boys, one more goal, one more goal, this formation is deeply relies on flying wing backs and Janza just has not been involved in the game so on comes Trzegowski can he make the change we need I've used all subs I've thrown all the dice I've thrown all the dice I'm rolling everything and I've thrown all the dice and William shoots from range and Trzegowski makes a great save and we are again piling on the pressure it's a ball in from Trzegowski it's headed away by Dilks and that's the end of the highlight and it's not good enough we do oh and Trzegowski's given away a penalty I bought him on to change the game and he might end up sealing it for Fiorentina. Come on, Pete. Come on, Casper. Oh, he's hit the post. Good on, he's hit the post. We're still in it. We are still in the game with 10 minutes to go. Yes. Yes, Casper. I, honestly, I swear I didn't call him beer just then to try and save the penalty. Trzegowski, ball in. Well held by Trzegowski. Dak's picked up the, after the tackle. Zahovic to Dak. He has a shot from range. It's a good block. It looks like we're going to go out of Europe. De Jong, Schmeichel saves. It's off the line and then Schmeichel claims. In injury time, it's now or never, boys. Sintasau whips it into the box. Williams is there. He's gone from range again and they should not be shooting from range. I don't know why they're doing that. Just panic, I think. Last minute panic from them. They know we need a goal. Babacar's picked it up. Good tackle from Dak. Vahovec. Williams, right. This is it. Last 30 seconds. Trzegowski brings it forward into Dak. Williams, he's tackled by Vecchino and this is going to be it. I think we're kissing goodbye to Europe. Klimcic has tackled Dion well and there it is, 2-1. Oh, it's so disheartening. They were unlucky because I think we bossed them. We didn't win a game in the group. Three draws, three losses. Goal difference of minus six. We picked up three points. We drew with Man City, but we are out. We are out of Europe again. We got to the quarterfinals of the Europa League last year. And we got into the Champions League and now we're out. And there's not much we can do. Only league games left. We're out of the cup as well. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. You sadistic gits if you like that. No, I'm only joking. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Disappointing result against Fiorentina. Only a short little video today because I just wanted to get that one game done. But, oh, I'm gutted. I am gutted. Also, on a bit of a different note, we'll end this season and then there might be a brand new kit reveal. Um, I'm going to see if I can get my 
kit designing friend Mark Bowen to do some kits for me because in real life Maribor have just released the kit they're going to be playing in in the 2016-17 season and I really like it um, it's really nice but anyway guys I'm rambling again thank you very much for watching leave a like if you've enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and hello to all the new subscribers thanks again and I'll chat to you soon I'm out cheers